Well, I, f- I first came to Oxford, in fact, to study、uh, Ayurvedic medicine, which may seem a bit strange that, that, to come to the centre of learning to study something that's so weird. Anyway, I, I better explain what Ayurvedic medicine is. Ayurveda literally means the science of longevity, i.e., medical science, the science that keeps people alive for as long as possible. And it's actually、um, an Eastern system of medicine from India, though it's it's practiced in some form or other all over.、Uh, I think even in in China and Japan, people study some form of it, but certainly in Tibet and South India and stuff. It's what. It's called, a, I suppose, a complementary medical system. Now,、uh, it's something that most medicine people use the Western system, obviously, because it's so successful and it's so good at what it does. But there are certain areas of even high-tech medicine that it's it's maybe not so good at dealing with, maybe allergies or something like that. And over the last maybe twenty years or something, people have started looking at older systems of medicine and healing and ideas and thinking. Maybe there's something still to be found there, and in fact, they've found a lot of new drugs and new techniques that have been sort of modernised and and used in Western medicine. So Ayurveda, it might surprise you, is a very very old system. I mean, it's about oh, it's maybe three three or four thousand years old. They've been practising in some form or other. Obviously, it, it's developed, and it's mainly based around the idea that what makes you ill is is probably what you eat. It's eating the either eating maybe not enough or too much, but also the type of things that you eat. So where you live, maybe you should think about eating things that are appropriate to where you are or to your temperament or whatever. So that's its its core, and from that they develop quite a quite a complicated system that is may is still mainly practiced in India, but in America and in, in Britain over the last few years, people have、um, practitioners from those countries have been coming here and, and practicing it. So that's that's Ayurveda. I, I've been, I'm not a practitioner of Ayurveda. I've been interested in kind of Eastern philosophy. So I studied the kind of history of it and and the basic core philosophical ideas.、Uh, and I actually wrote a little kind of introduction to it. But it's something that is is you know I mean it's true, isn't it? That what you eat does make you is going to make you ill or is going to make you better. So basically, it's a sensible system. It's not it's not crazy or anything. In fact, to practice Ayurveda, the you have to go through a, a training that is at least as long as as a, any physician. It can be at least seven years before you you're really qualified to be let loose on a on someone with with an illness. So it, it's something that's seen increasing in popularity, along with other sort of forms of alternative medicine, like acupuncture or whatever. In fact, acupuncture is is derived from some of the principles of acupuncture are derived from Ayurvedic medicine,、uh, and some of the herbs used in in Chinese medicine actually come from India and from the Chinese system. So these ideas have been around a long time, and they're being revived now. Uh, and it's it's one thing that you might hear about. So that's that's Ayurvedic medicine.